what's up vlog what's up vloggy vlog so today is tuesday it's tuesday what did i use tuesday it's my favorite day i was born on a tuesday i'm actually on my way i got a couple of errands to run today i really need to go get my bridal dress altered because i'm a bridesmaid <laughs> i don't know why i say it like that i need to go get my dress altered for real but i haven't i haven't done that yet so i need to do that this week for sure because the wedding is july seven when he had got me this louis wallet for my birthday and i had been so afraid to wear it because i mean use it because it's such a pretty pink and i just didn't want to get it dirty i had put it in my bag one time one time and the leather on the back started to peel off so i'm like mm -mm, unsatisfied so i'm gonna see if i could take it to them today to see if they'll be able to do something for me because i need something done for me because i'm just not a happy customer right now so i'm at starbucks right now i'm in the mood for a i've been loving the strawberry acai and i don't get anything fancy um should i try the pink drink today should i i'm nervous I'm nervous. I'll be nervous to try things that I don't know. Because then I'm like, what if I don't like it? But what if I do? Because I had randomly tried the strawberry acai and I was like obsessed. And I just get two pumps of the um, sugar. So maybe today I'll try something new. Let me just see. My friend Melanie, she has sent it to me. So let's see. The pink drink is the strawberry acai refresher with accents of passion fruit combined with creamy coconut milk. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. How do you guys say? Do you guys say strawberry acai or do you guys say strawberry acai? I used to say acai and it just sounded weird. So I say acai. But one time I said that acai to a lady at Starbucks and she did not. She said something else back. So what is it? This is what the pink drink looks like. So I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna try the pink drink today. It's something different. It's something new. I'm gonna try the pink drink and then I'm gonna get a chocolate chip cookie because I'm pretty sure Luke and I are gonna grab something to eat for breakfast. I had some spaghetti. So. Real Haitian style, you know, with the um, cut up peppers, the onions, the I put turkey sausage in mine and it was busting and it was spicy and I loved everything about it. You know, what's so funny when I eat first thing in the morning, like I get hungry throughout the day. Like I'll just like, I don't know if it's because like, you know, the weight gain journey and all before I get into all that, that's a whole nother topic too. I got to update you guys. But, um, yeah, so when I eat first thing in the morning, I get hungry so fast throughout the day. So as soon as I was done eating that, about an hour later, I was already hungry. And I ate that at probably around 12. But I'm going to get a snack just because I don't want to, you know, if we're eating at a restaurant, I want to be able to eat too. You know, oysters be coming out, all that stuff. So if you are on a weight gain journey and trying to gain weight, I would say definitely start eating early in the day so that we can get more of your calories in. I like my earrings. They say Barbie because I'm the Haitian Barbie. The weight gain journey, it is a lifestyle, but I feel like now that I'm getting a little older, you know, now I'm a little 25 and all that. Now I feel like I've gained weight and then the weight is actually sticking on and it's looking good. The only thing I will say is that for some reason when I gain weight, it always tries to go to my stomach. I love that it goes to my face, but I'm like, not even my stomach, like that fupa area, I, I'm not with any of that. So... Um, on this next weight gain journey that I'm going to embark on because I do want to gain um, maybe like, you know, five to ten pounds before I go to Jamaica. Just because, you know, everything, just so everything can sit right. Um, even better because it's sitting right now. But the 155, I love when I'm 155. I love it. It's such a good look. I love it for me. The Starbucks line is ridiculous. Y'all want to see? Look at this line. Look at this line right here. Like, can y'all see now? It's ridiculous. And this whole time that I've been in this car with you guys, I've been talking to you guys. I've been waiting for this line or whatever. I'm going to go and wait for Luke at the airport. Um, I'm picking him up. He just came back from Miami. He was just a little vibes. So I'm going to pick him up. We're probably going to grab something to eat, hang out a little bit. And then I'm going to see. I might go to Louis Vuitton store today just because we're in the area. So we'll see. I'm not too pressed to go today only because I know I'm going to have to run a couple errands like later on this week to go and get like the my bridal dress like fitted and you know find some shoes and things like that so i'll definitely take you guys along the way for that but let's talk about bridal okay i'm super excited i'm a bridesmaid my cousin kim is getting married hey, kim if you're watching this <laughs> i went to my first bachelorette this weekend and i also went to the wedding shower these are my first two of everything i've never been a bridesmaid and i've also never been to a bachelorette party the only thing i would say is i wish it was warmer because i had looks i bought a whole suitcase i'm that friend that brings like 
10 outfits, bathing suits, 10 pairs of shoes, sneakers, heels, all of that, sleepwear, galore, makeup, curling iron. I had straight hair, so I need to have a straightener, whatever. If I have like a curly wig, I wouldn't really need so much of the other stuff, my hair stuff. But I brought everything, perfume, like I'm that friend. So um, I brought all of that for like, we got there on Friday and we left um, Sunday, I believe. So I brought all of that for basically one day, but it was still a great time. I had fun. I haven't drank like that in so long. I don't really drink in like my regular life. When I drink now, I be out for the count. Like I've been needing to recover for like two or three days. It's really bad. Hold on, we at the window. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. How can I get started for you today? Hi, can I have a grande pink drink? A grande pink drink? Yes, please. Got it. What else can I get you? Um, and can I grab two pumps of sugar in that? Two pumps of liquid cream sugar, you got it. And then do you guys have any chocolate chip cookies? I don't. I have chocolate croissants. Oh, no thank you. If you want that instead. No thank you. Sorry. It's okay. Can I do anything else? That'd be all. Alright, be fine. Here you open the Thank you. So they don't have any cookies. <laughs> So, um, what else is new? Girl, I did my nails. Look at these. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Oh, is that my drink? This lighting is pretty. How's it going? Good, how are you? I think it's 5.30. Do you want a straw? Yes, please. Yeah. Right out, Thank you. The only thing about long nails is it'd be hard to put the window up. I'd be like, I'll twist it to the side. Have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. We got it. We got it. Look at it. Okay, I got some strawberries in it. After this, guys, I'm going to have to call y'all back because um, I'm going to be driving and I don't want to log and drive. So, let's try it. Mm. So, it definitely has... This is me trying to think out. Let me try it again. It's good. It's good. I see why people like it. I wouldn't get it again though. But I really don't like my drinks to have coconut. Yeah, I don't really like to have my drinks to have coconut. Mm. It's good though. It's just it's giving like it wants to be a pina colada, but it's good, but eh. Pat, we'll pat, we'll <laughs> it's like it's okay. On a scale of one to ten, I will give it. Let me try it again. On a scale of one to ten, I will give it like a four. I would give it a four. I don't know. It's not. Maybe I didn't get it right, but it's not really doing what it needs to do for me. But, okay, guys. I'm about to hop on the highway, so I will see you guys in a second. I love y'all. Call y'all right back. this little waiting spot that you can wait at it's like a cell phone lot this is like my second time waiting here but 
I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. The airport is crazy, it's madness. The airport is madness. Like I miss the panoramic days when it was like nobody here and you could just go to the lobby and it was clear because it's literally madness right now. Like I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. And I know when my brother was flying out, when Archie was flying out, he had trouble flying out just cause the lobby was so filled. And then Luke's, the lobby was filled too. So I'm just like, what is going on? I'm just not used to this. But yeah, I'm waiting in this lobby. I'm getting kind of hungry because like I told y'all, we didn't get the cookie. So I'm like hungry right now. So my energy is kind of going down. But this is where we at. We are at the cell phone waiting lot. Juju's coming. Hey. Hey, 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 finally it's here. <laughs> you need help with your luggage? <laughs> Hi vlog, checking back in. So, picked up Luke from the airport. Took him forever to get out. But we made it. <laughs> I was telling him how long it took you. I was telling him how long it took you to come from the airport. That was the longest time ever. So now, you guys, the strawberry all yours, and pineapple strawberry pizza. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think for your dinner? Any ideas? Any thoughts? Yes. Um, you want to in the video? You want to be in the video? No, I don't want to ruin your video. No, it's fine. It's a vlog. <laughs> How many are Twelve dozen. A dozen. A dozen. A dozen. I was hoping you go with that, but you know, it's double check. Oh my god, imagine twelve dozen. We don't like them that much. We don't like them that much. Four ounce, four ounce after. And how would you like your food here, sir? Well done. No pink at all. Yeah. Any sauce you can add is salt, pepper, butter, sauce, no cheese. Uh, I could do blue cheese or I could do blue cheese. Yeah, I could do blue cheese. Then 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 I could do blue cheese. And who's having you look? You'll have it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lady. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think for your side dishes? Um, lobster mac. Lobster mac. Yes. Very creamy and delicious. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Absolutely. We'll get out uh, cracking those 12 dozen. <laughs> <laughs> she has a great personality. <laughs> so now we're at Del Frisco celebrating our anniversary dinner. I mean it is. We met June 11th. It's June 8th. But, oh my god. So basically on June 11th Luke is going to surprise me with a nice gift and a nice evening out. So I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that vlog. <laughs> the pressure. Luke eating here while we are camera. They gave us some friends. Mm. Isn't Luke cute? He went to Miami without me. Who you know? Alright, I'm gonna call y'all back once the food comes. Okay, so, girl, girl, girl. So, I feel like I'm at a, I'm a little Spanish mommy in the bodega. I just in the, in the, in the, in the bodega. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the bodega. Um, what was I gonna say? This hair is from Snob Life. It's their curly hair. I do wish it was longer. That's all I will say about it. I, it's my fault. I got a 22. 
I don't know what I was thinking. I need my hair, my curly hair to be like by 28, period. Um, so I'm thinking like, should I cut it into like a shorter bobby? Should I leave it long? What do you guys think? It's not even, to me, 22 is not long. I think it's because I just came from 30 inches of hair. I'm like, I feel like a child. <laughs> I feel like a child. This was clipped back when y'all saw me. Hold on, my camera's about to die. Let me solve the battery. Okay, I'm back. This is so cute. I have to show you guys my full nail room tour because it's a vibe in here, okay? This is where I get things done. This is where I sit and I plan different content and things like that. I love this side of the beauty room in my office space. I did everything on the wall. It looks so cute. But we'll save that for our nail video. So what I was going to say was, um, yeah, after we ate, girl, we was just like, let's just go home. So uh, honestly, we went to Del Fresco's and there was no AC. There was no AC. There was no Nyack shorty. She on the air. There was no AC. So I get it, things happen in businesses. So no hard feelings, love it there. The food was bomb, the oysters. They have like three different oyster sauces that I'm obsessed with. I feel like they're the best with dressing oysters. They don't just have just the horseradish, like they have different vibes. So I love it there for those reasons. Um, I got the lobster tails that you guys saw and I also got some shrimp. It was really good. And the lobster mac and cheese, girl, sent from heaven. It was so good. So, <clears throat> oh, that was, I thought my ginger ale had ginger ale on it, but it don't. So we're gonna drink some water. I love curly hair on me. I think it's so cute. It just needs to be longer. But it is now 11.06 p.m. So I'm actually gonna go and I'm going to, can y'all see that? 11 you see that? You see that girl right there? She fine and all that, she cute. Um, so I'm actually gonna go and edit this vlog because I just been, what happened to the, okay. Yeah, there you go. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go edit this vlog because I feel like I have not been doing the best that I can do. Um, I actually was in like a little, I want to say a rut, um, metro retrograde, Mercury was retrograde and all that. And I was in like a little rut, you know, I was just like, I don't know, it just, it just came out of nowhere. There was just a lot going on. I was outsiding and I just kind of wasn't really focused on my goals. So I feel like that happens from time to time. I don't know if it's just me. It could be you too. So I just wanted to come on here and that's too low. I just wanted to come on here and just say that it's normal. Just as long as you pick the pieces up, I think that rest is very important on this life's journey. I think we all need to rest sometimes. We cannot, we are not robots, okay? We cannot function at high speeds all the time. Like that's just not what it is. It's just not possible. And if we do, we might cause some ailments in our bodies, okay? I watched this video and this person was talking. Oh, I read this book. I'm reading this new book. Um, Y'all wanna know? Okay. So there was part of this book that was just based on this girl and she um, had a very traumatic incident happen to her in her life. And basically, um, her body kept replaying that traumatic incident to put her in flight or flight mode. And our bodies cannot operate in flight or flight. Our heart is racing faster. Our senses are peaking all the time. So because she kept replaying that every single day, her body literally started to shut down. And when her body started to shut down, not only did her mental state get just so lost, but her legs, like she, her, she couldn't walk anymore. Like she couldn't work and take care of her kids and things like that. So she ended up, long story short, she ended up going and finding some help mentally and spiritually and tapping in and meditating and getting herself back together and just getting her body out of that fight or flight state. So I say all that to say that we are not robots, okay? We are human beings and although we are functioning in this technology realm where we feel like we have to do things all the time and you know, keep feeding the machine, we are not machines. So it is okay if you have to reset and rest. It is okay if you, you know, are in a rut. It's okay if you are not feeling it. It's okay. 
you know i feel like sometimes we feel like because we set these goals it's like you know post this do this 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 sometimes it's not humanly or physically possible so i always feel like i come i'm, I'm always so refreshed when my mental state is in line i'm reading my books doing my affirmations you know getting positive vibes inside me but sometimes life comes in and just smacks you up and takes you out of alignment and you just gotta go through the rope so there's nothing wrong with it so that's what i have been doing um literally just resting for real there was a lot going on a bachelorette bridal shower all that good stuff i got to just relax and things like that but I just realized that, you know, I miss doing what I love to do all the time. And that is creating and having fun with it and just enjoying my life. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, a little bit about what's been going on with me. Also, um, some really good things that are happening. I think, I remember back when I first started YouTube-ish, I had like, you know, brought Luke onto my channel and all that good stuff, showed you guys him and things like that. We went through a little rough patch for a little bit and um, now we're on a really better page. So I just wanted to let you guys in on that. So Bay is back, Boo is back, he's here. Um, and we are vibing out and going with the flow of life, you know, going with the flow, seeing where life takes things. Obviously we have some desires and goals within us, but just really going with the flow. And I think that's healthy too. So I think that everybody goes through different phases in life. We grow together, we grew so much together. Um, and things happen, good, bad, you know, all that stuff happens. But um, I didn't want to share that with you guys. You guys are probably confused, like, is Luke, like, who is he? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Luke has been in my life for four years now, and he is one of my best friends ever, you know? He's my best friend ever. Um, and it's just my dog, like, you know? So, yeah, that's the update for that. Um, what else is going on? I need to update you guys on Lara Lifestyle. Lara Lifestyle, my boo, my baby, my first love, okay? My first business love. That's my boo, my baby. She's still here. I am in the process of revamping her though because I feel like somewhere along the line, she got a little bit just, just, what's the word I'm looking for? Just really, um, she got a little boring, I feel like. So I need to revamp her a little bit, add some spice to her. Add some cool new things to her. So expect on the third year anniversary, three years, three years. Yeah, three years. So it's on the third year anniversary, which is gonna be August 11th for some really cool and exciting things to happen for our lifestyle. I will take you guys on the journey in the meantime. Um, I'll probably record everything and then when it drops, I'll just put it out when everything comes um, or I'll prepare it with you guys through the process so you guys are kind of in line with me. But my boo, my baby, she needs a revamp. So we're gonna do just that. We are gonna revamp her and bring her back to life. But she is still here. So if you guys are interested in shopping my lashes, go ahead and shop at lifestyle.com. Um, these lashes I've been wearing, I couldn't even tell you how how long i've been wearing these lashes for um these are the sweetheart lashes y'all see them you see her lashes um i probably need to just clean them a little bit that's it maybe i'll make a video on how i clean them but yeah so that's my boo my baby she's still here i am bringing a new baby into the world she will be dropping this month um so get excited and ready for her because she's just gonna be a vibe i will take you guys along the journey too i did film um the process of that as well so i have been filming but some of the things i've been filming i can't really sorry i just gotta scratch my hair i need to wash this i need to wash my hair um which means i gotta take off my nails so which is fine no big deal when you got all of this back here um so yeah oh i said i was gonna show you guys what's my scale can i find her i said i was gonna show you guys how much i weigh now so i'll show you guys that in a second and that's really it so we're gonna get ready for <laughs> we're gonna get ready for jamaica that's what a wedding is but also we're gonna be going to atlanta just got the phone me <laughs> maybe if you're watching this just got the phone with you it makes like so you said you were coming on the 8th and you're not here and i'm like so you just went through your phone and you seen the receipt she's like yes i did <laughs> so um we'll be going to atlanta miss my best friend i'm gonna see you boo. love you forever so that's gonna be fun so i'll take you guys along with me on that trip too um yeah that's all i really got for now i'm excited i'm excited for this new phase of my life 
I feel like there's a new phase emerging and I'm ready for her. I just want, I just can't wait till everything just like comes together. I feel like there's like some different pieces, like different pieces. I need them to merge together. So with the timing, everything is perfect timing. Everything is divine timing. So with that timing, it will all come together. But I do want to say that thank y'all for rock with me and supporting me from the beginning until now. Um, I want to continue to build a stronger relationship. So I'm going to start giving y'all little tea, little snippets about me and my life and all that stuff. Um, and just make it more personal, which is great because I love knowing tea about you guys and <laughs> about people that I follow too. And yeah, my hair look cute like this. I don't know. I don't feel like it's giving. What is it even giving right now? Well, I'm about to take on my makeup and put this hair up in a second. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think that's everything that I have for this video, this vlog. Oh, um, oh, let me show you guys the wallet. Let me show y'all the wallet. Hold on. So this is the bag. Oh, I still I showed y'all the bag already. So this is the wallet, it's super cute, it's pink. And this is it on the inside, super cute. Pink of course, it don't have no monies in it. <laughs> I put money in it, I had to take the money out because the wallet is like a little bit rinky dink. So let me show you guys, look at this. How does this happen? I don't know. It's sad. That was so sad. It's kind of like a heart though. It's just, I can't, I can't even, I can't even like, how, I'm, like, come on. What am I gonna hold this and then have the back looking like this? This is just ridiculous. So I'm gonna see what they can do for me at the store. Hopefully they can do something for me. Um, so that'll probably be in the next vlog that we go and try to figure out what's going on with this wallet because I'm very sad. And I'm sad because it was a gift. And I know that my sister really took her time in picking this gift for me. She told me she was in the store for like hours and the lady was like, oh my God, can I help you? She was showing the girl my Instagram. Like she was just really trying to make this work for me. So I just feel like, um, I just feel like, you know, I don't want to, she gave me a gift. So it's like, I don't want her to feel like, you know, I don't care about it or I didn't treat it nice or whatever. Cause I'm very, very grateful um, for my sister for gifting me with the wallet and just making me feel special and appreciated and just showing that she appreciates me and loves me and excuse me, and just knows that, um, yeah, just show me that she appreciates it. Love me. So I just don't want her to feel like I don't appreciate her because I do. So I need to go to the store to see what they can do for us. It's an us thing. So um, she asked me about it before. She said, did you go to the store yet? I was like, no, not yet. But so it means that she needs me to go. So I'm going to go and see if they could do something for me. Hopefully they can. What y'all think? Hopefully they can. Hopefully they can. So yeah, that'll be in the next vlog. If you guys want to check that out, um, we can do that together. Um, and I'll bring y'all with me to the store, show you guys some cute stuff too. I forgot to get B-roll for this video. So I really want to work on my editing to get it real crisp. So I forgot to get B-roll, which I'm really kind of annoyed about, but it's okay. So I forgot to get B-roll. It's okay. But in the next video, I'll just make sure the vlog's a little bit better because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of them and I'm not playing, okay? 
I'm not playing. I'm using my gifts and I'm executing all my ideas this year, period. And we six months into the year. It's been going really good so far, but I know it could turn it up a notch. It like summertime is like my favorite time of the year. And then fall, and then I feel like fall is like its own separate season. <sighs> I can go on a rant. Loop be like, yo, I know you wanna talk right now, but <laughs> I just keep talking and talking and talking. Y'all don't really see that side of me, but when I get real comfortable, I just just talk and talk and talk and talk and tear off. Um, and one thing that I do like about our relationship is that I could just be so open. Like, I don't, I don't, I could be open in the sense of I can, I can talk about anything. I can reveal some of my fears. I can be very vulnerable. I can, you know, I can do anything like I can I can do anything I could just be me my whole me I can be angry if I want to be angry I could be sad today I'd be like yo I'm sad like if I have an attitude this is what's going on like just trust today is not one of them days or I could once I went to dinner I was on my period I was just like he would tell me some story I was like oh my god I was starting to cry I was just like I'm on my period just relax it's okay <laughs> Uh, you know, I could walk around my Meek Mills, you know, my, my braids looking crazy, you know. Um, and I say crazy because, you know, the scalp be dry sometimes, you know, it be getting a little flaky sometimes. It be, it be wash day. So, um, I can do that and not feel like I'm being judged. I could dance freely. It's just, I like the fact, that's one of my favorite things about my relationship. Our relationships, um, as friends, as lovers, and whatever, is the fact that I could just be me wholeheartedly. And at the end of the day, that's one thing. The other thing I'll be, I'm so happy to move forward in life with is the fact that I could just be my organic and true self. I think that when you get to be your organic and true self, the only other people that I get to be, I feel like when you get to be your organic and true self with someone, it's really, it feels like home. And that's enough to take it for granted because there's some real crazy, shysty people in this world. So you gotta be real thankful for the people that you actually can really love and pour into and they pour into you too. So, um, what else? And humans are humans, okay? Let's remember that. Everybody's different, so you don't judge people too. But the only real people I could be that way with is my family that know me, that grew up with me, and did all that stuff. So I just went off on a tangent. But this is the book that I was reading, that I am reading. Becoming Supernatural. This is the book. I just think that, you know what I do think? This is just such a side note. I think that there's so many levels to life. Like, I feel like when you're operating in a state of, like, lower frequency, that's you're not able to receive certain clues and certain tips and certain insights that you might need to like be on the right timing of things. And I think timing is very important and we touched on that before, but I do feel like there are different waves and different levels. So like when you're operating on a lower frequency, your vibe is sad, you're down, you're angry, you're depressed and all that stuff. So the past funk that I was talking about, my vibe was definitely down. I wasn't angry. Um, but I definitely wasn't my happiest. So I definitely felt like my thoughts weren't positive. Like, you know, I, I was foreseeing a lot of negative things. Um, so I was definitely operating on lower frequency. Um, and now, the state that I'm in now, I'm always so positive. Like I, I reaffirm some of the things that I think, um, when I say something, I hear myself saying like, you got this, like it's more positive, um, it's more positivity flowing throughout my brain and i found the reason why i got this book was because um it says how calm people do the uncommon and i feel like when my mind is aligned with just knowing that there's more out there than just this 3d world and just like the the simple things i think this world is very complex this space is very complex so um yeah, I like to learn more about those things just so I can, it kind of brings me back down to earth and kind of levels me out and keeps me real grounded. As a Taurus bull, um, it's good, we earth sign, so we have to be grounded. And we have to just be like steady and understanding. So this is one thing that grounds me. Reading grounds me and it keeps me real focused. And then it just puts my mind in a really good state for the day. And I like to feed my mind with positive things throughout the day and during the day because I, I want to feed it good food, like just like you feed your body, you have to feed your mind good food. So I want to feed my mind good food so that, you know, um, 
so that I just think positively my, my vibes are up vibrations are high um, I have a lot more faith um, in myself and everything around me and I'm more trusting I'm more caring and I'm more kind so that's why I read um, a lot of books I read a lot of books on self-help personal development self-love um, I like to read books about um, science how the mind works and things like that just because I'm just obsessed with um, just everything about the mind to be honest because that the mind right there will change your life like get your mind right and your life changes so I think it's very very important that you know it's not something that's taught in school so I feel like you definitely have to adopt those principles into your life and learn them as you go so that's the end of my rant about reading like I said I can go on and on forever with you guys but I'm gonna go take my makeup off so I can edit this video and so y'all can have this video for tomorrow so that y'all can enjoy it because I miss y'all and I love y'all forever so make sure you subscribe to the channel thumbs up this video comment down below don't forget I love you and I hope you have a fabulous day and stay glam but first, stay pure. See you later. Bye.